Hey, what's up guys? It's Alex, and today we are gonna showcase a new indie game. This game is named Farmer Against Potatoes Idol, and it is an idol game. The game will be launching on Android on September 8th, 2022, and on Apple near the end of September, but the game is already available on Steam right now. For those that are not familiar with idol games, it's a mix of automated gameplay and roguelite, where you're frequently gonna start over your journey, but with much bigger bonuses, which is gonna allow you to progress faster through your run and going farther than before. Now, before I go ahead and go over the game features with you guys, I do want to take a minute to say that I have spoken with the devs and they are a very very small team but they are very chill guys and very hard working. I truly wish them success with their new game and I hope that they really build a big community. There is also a large content patch planned to come out on September 16, 2022 which should uh, implement the new uh, ascension feature. Now before we continue we are also going to address the elephant in the room which is uh, it is a free to play game and there are microtransactions but believe me when I say that they are very smooth and quite limited even like the giga whales are not going to go blow through the content of the game. There's a lot of limitation and some of the, the, the stuff is quite easily accessible even for free to play players with the dailies and the, the free codes that they provide on their discords. So even if you are a free to play player you should definitely try out this game. It is meant for you guys. There will be a link to their discord and to the game on steam in the description of the video. All right, so you start your journey as a farmer fighting the potatoes armies. Kill, you get experience, you level up, you tell your build on the skill tree. You purchase perks using potatoes and skulls. You find equipment, you enchant it, etc, etc. And then you reincarnate, which allows you to spend reincarnation points on juicy upgrades. As you progress into the game, you will unlock game features and mechanics that will always allow you to push further. On top of that, when re reincarnating, you can choose from six different classes, which have their own skill tree strengths. The classes level is account wide and has the a direct impact on your total free talent points, which you can use at the start of a new reincarnation. The six classes are Farmer, Smasher, Whore, Harvester, Rancher, and Freeloader. Some classes can play a very specific role, like Smasher to complete some challenges and just push harder, or Freeloader to acquire higher rarity gear. The game also has online leaderboards with multiple categories, which makes it fun to compete with others. There's also a friendly community on the Discord answering questions and sharing opinion on how to progress faster. There is also a multiplayer event coming soon, which we will be facing a giant boss potato, I believe. So uh, we got that looking forward to. One of the other things that I really like also about the game is that there's a lot of cool achievements that you can get as well as some of the secret hidden uh, achievements and each of the achievements provide you a small stat bonus so that's really nice uh, on top of the collection purposes. I'm still fairly new to the game and I don't feel I could make an extremely accurate guide on what would be the best time to ascend. I ended up doing a bit of research and you basically, you know, you start at the farm, you're going to go level up and progress until you unlock the reincarnation feature. And what's important is the upgrades that are going to be available when you're going to reincarnate. The first few upgrades only cost 5 points each, so you will ideally want to have 10 points before ascending so that you can get 2 upgrades. After that, you will want to find the right flow between reincarnation, uh, where the run is not too long but also still rewarding. My order of ascension personally was farmer, then smasher, hoer, freeloader, rancher, and then harvester. But you don't have to fold this exact pet. Uh, I've seen some people do farmer, 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 smasher, smasher, and then mix it with the rest. You just basically want to have an optimal run that doesn't take you more than a few hours and then you just basically get some levels on the other classes as much as possible. Since the game just came out, there's still a lot of people trying to figure out the optimal paths for reincarnation. And in two weeks, they're going to be releasing the ascension, which is also going to add another comp complexity around that level. Alright guys, this concludes this short highlight of Farmer Against Potatoes Idol. I hope that you will give it a try. It is a free to play and it will soon be available on mobile as well. If you have never tried an idol game, it's definitely worth a try, but it's also not for everyone. Let us know in the comment section if you want to play the game or already play the game. And who knows, maybe next time we'll have a bonus code for some cool free rewards. Take care everyone. Bye bye.